Hello there, today we will be doing integer to Roman numeral. So given an integer n, return its corresponding Roman numeral. Roman numerals contain the symbol representing values in the following lists. i is equal to 1, v is equal to 5, x is equal to 10, l is equal to 50, c is equal to 100, d is equal to 500, m is equal to 1000. Also, uh, there are also six other cases that are possible, like a 4 where you have a i before the v, or a 9 where the i is before the x, uh, x is before the l for 40, and x is before the c for 90, c is before the d for uh, 400, and c is before the m for 900. So we'll take into account all of those cases as well. So the way I plan to do this is create a table where we convert the most, the biggest items first, and continually convert the smaller items. This way, we can reduce our number and use the minimum uh, number that will go into the next particular value. So let me show you what I mean. So let's start off with the first couple of these. So um, my result is going to be empty uh, string. So while n is greater than 0, we're going to do an if n divided by a thousand. If it's dividable by a thousand and it's equal to one, then let's let's uh n minus one thousand and we're gonna set the result to plus equals an m. Also, if uh, n is divided by nine hundred and it's equal to one, then n is minus nine hundred and result plus equals a um I think it was c before the m. All right. So let's run the result test case of 1,900, and we should get a correct answer here. Of course, we have to return the result. Um, timeline exceeded. Uh, let's see what's going on. Ah, greater than or equal to zero. Timeline exceeded again. Ah, minus equals. Let me shrink this way. And timeline exceeded. Um, let's see what's going on here. So, what timeline is? Ah, I see. Run. All right, great. So this is accepted. So following this formula, we'll create this table. So table equals a thousand represents an M. 900 represents a CM. So on and so forth. It's just um mind numbing work at this point. 400 CD 100 what was 100? I think it was um, a C 90 is going to be a XD XC then we have of course 50 which is L and then XL, I think, 40. What else do we have? I think it was a 10. And a 9. And then a 5. And then one. Oh wait, we have a four actually before that. The reason why we can't we have to do this is because we cannot go more than four with um more than three items of the same three eyes because that would end up into a total failure. So every time we get to a four we have to do some um subtraction here as you can see. Anyways, here we are. So, uh, we create the cap and the Roman numeral. 
in the table and the divisor denominator and the remaining number is remainder is here and divide mod will take the current number and divide it by our current cap and so then our built up string is going to be roman numeral the current uh, item times d the how many times we found it we're able to get it and n equals m which is the remainder and we return the results and we should be good to go let me just get rid of this perfect so we're gonna run accept it and submit perfect all done so um let's see anyway we can do better hmm i think this is good all right thank you very much for watching if you have any comments or questions please comment below if you like the video um you know what to do and if you want more please subscribe uh, please look at the, if you would like to see more, uh, you can look at the description below for more um, content uh, on my website or the problem. Um, thank you very much. Have a good one.